Jim, thank you so much. Uh, justice delayed once again. A man was supposed to be sentenced this morning after pleading guilty to several sex crimes in 2021. Yeah, he was in the middle of a plea deal and the judge had taken it under advisement for child molestation. It resulted in a 12 year old girl getting pregnant. Kit Hanley is joining us live from the courthouse and Kit, while you were there, I want to mention something. I know you were in the courtroom. The family was there too and they just gave me a statement. Um, I'm going to read that right now real quickly because the family said this is infuriating that we have to keep going through this. Yeah. We are ready to receive justice so that we can fully begin our healing process and make sure that he doesn't hurt any other families. Can you let us know the backstory here too? And again, what you learned in the courtroom just a few minutes ago? Yeah, Angela and Daniel, and that's very understanding hearing that from the family. Now, as you can see, we arrived here at the courthouse only to find out that this hearing schedule for today had been postponed, and that's because the defendant's attorney had a previously scheduled vacation day. It's now been postponed for April 1st at 9 a.m., but I want to walk you through some of the disturbing details of this case here. 21-year-old Stephen Castillo pleaded guilty to molesting a girl who was just 12 years old at the time. The probable cause in this case has some disturbing details, as we just mentioned. Court documents filed back in December of 2021 revealed Tipton police began looking into Castillo's activity after being asked to investigate a sex crime in the area. Documents show police spoke with a juvenile after she complained about having severe back pain at a Tipton hospital. Testing at the hospital then revealed the girl was pregnant. The deputy working the case asked the young girl, quote, how was this possible? She then yelled, it was him, while pointing at Castillo. The incident had reportedly happened in the summer of 2021, and according to the court documents, the girl was then airlifted and gave birth to a baby boy at an Indy hospital. A family member met Castillo online about three years prior to the incident, and he ended up moving in with the family. Now, per court documents, the survivor also said Castillo sexually assaulted her and that he told her to, quote, not tell her mother about the assault. Police records indicate that the girl said Castillo later approached her about having sex and that she told him no. Now, right now, the most serious of Castillo's convictions is child molestation of where the defendant is at least 21 years of age and the survivor is less than 14 years old. It's a level one felony. The maximum penalty is a 40 year prison sentence and a fine of up to $10,000. Now we do hope to be here at this scheduled hearing on April 1st at 9 a.m. Angela, Daniel, back to you. Yeah, Kit, thank you. And again, the family in the courtroom this morning expecting to hear what was going to happen to Castillo only to learn that this was again scheduled four days later now over a vacation day for Castillo's attorney. It's 934.